Hi, this is Astrid, and welcome back to the channel. I am going to be covering Luna as a console for Reason Studio today. So if you didn't watch the other video uh, where I showed you actually how to set it up with Ableton Live 10, please um, follow the link in the upper right hand corner and go back and watch that show. Um, I do a pretty deep dive into the routing and how things are connected. And I think that you'll find that useful if you're trying to do this um, within Ableton. So today I wanted to cover a reason and I'm going to be showing you uh, that same template that I set up um, to use with Ableton and I'm using it again as my console replacement, which means for me as a, a UAD Apollo 8 user, I'm running all of my external devices like a microphone and my keyboard gear. Um, all of those things have hard channels or hard ports assigned to them. So I have an, um, an audio track per each one of those devices set up. Um, let me just get dive in and show you how that looks. Okay, so inside of Luna, basically because the Luna is deeply integrated with the UAD hardware, that means that you can take advantage of its features and use it as a console replacement. So what that what does that mean? It means that I can create audio tracks that have um, the same um, the same input channels as my external gear sources, and those uh, sources I can still use in other uh, in another DAW. In, in this event, it would be Reason, and I would still be able to utilize like the Unison. Um, plugins along with any other of uh, the channel strip plugins because what's being heard on these uh, plugins will be uh, translated back to the DAW. So you ask, I know you're thinking this, how are you able to do that? Um, it's because I set up a virtual port. So the virtual port, um, what it does is it acts as my output port for my, my DAW, which is in this case, again, reason, um, and it anything that's played from from these sources all translate back to this um, channel strip. So, in essence, anything that's again, if I wanted to add plugins, if I wanted to um, add the tape plugin, which I've been playing around with, I actually have it on the what I'm calling my master. <laughs> so this virtual port is my master now. Um, inside of Reason, um, let me just show you that, how I've got it set up in there. So I'm going to the Reason's preferences. Um, inside of the preferences under audio tab, um, I've set uh, that virtual port as which is assigned to port 23 and 24. And let me just show you that in Luna. So in Luna, I'm just gonna go here. I'm gonna to go to the settings and I'm looking at my input output matrix. And if you look at uh, ports 23 and 24, see that's virtual port three and virtual port four. And these are output ports, remember that. Um, these are not import ports, only uh, like my microphone and all of my other hardware gear are are input ports, which are not really relevant for this particular setup. Um, but if you're going to be recording vocals, uh, you need to know that, again, you're still using the same input source, um, like this microphone. I have a, I'm using port one for my microphone input. So inside of Reason, if I wanted to 
have like a master source for the audio and have one place to record that, I would create an audio track and I'm going to, uh, for that audio track, I'm going to make sure that it's still utilizing port one as its, as its, uh, input source. So, uh, now if I record on, on this track, anything that translates in from this again, still will be heard because I'm pointing all of my output source or my master from the DAW to the virtual port. So that's how it works. Um, that's also how it's working in Ableton as well. So again, this virtual port acts like my master now instead of my, uh, instead of the default master, which is normally one and two. So that is how it works. So in essence, I'm able to use the real time engine within reason, uh, fairly simple, um, simply rather. And let's go back to those preferences. Let's talk about this some more. So within reason, um, again, I have my output source or my master um, set to the virtual port that I created. And so that I, I'm not trying to utilize the way that Reason handles audio, I turned off all the special features. So if you look under performance, I uncheck the multi-core audio rendering. I uncheck the use hyper threading auto render, rendering and I uncheck render audio using audio card buffer size setting. So I turn all off, turned all the bells and whistles for their performance uh, off because it's not needed. And down in monitoring, I made my monitoring source external. So if you look, you're looking at uh, what it says about monitoring, it says no monitoring through reason suite, um, use external monitoring. So that means that all of the master and all of the output for all of the tracks is going through uh, virtual ports uh, 23 and 24. Okay, so that's really all that's required to really get this going in Reason. I, I thought it was going to be more complicated, and I think sometimes I let the rack uh, uh, seem more complicated than it really is. It's actually not that complicated to use. Um, I don't traditionally work in Reason as much as I used to. Um, it's no longer my primary DAW that I use. Um, I normally use Ableton more, um, for everything now. Um, I started out as a Reason user and I just, I ran into a lot of issues with the sequencer and how things are, how you're able to do things in there. And there's still their lack of ability to use wave files directly within the sequencer and do warp uh, warp features within the wave files is, has been a hamperance for me. Um, so, um, in having to go and Rex everything that you want to use with it is a, is time consuming, um, which is why I kind of stepped away from using it, uh, full time. But the one thing I do love about reason are the rack, um, the rack gear itself. So, I was really excited when uh, Reason Studios released um, the Rack plugin because now I have full access to all of my favorite um, Rack extensions and I can use that in any other DAW, which has been fantastic for me. Um, so that is all that I have for this one. Um, the next one that I'm going to touch uh, will be Logic. Um, I'm probably going to post that video up in a few days. I just need to spend more time in it to make sure that I have covered everything. Um, if you have any questions or um, thoughts, please re leave that in the comment section. And that is all I have. And thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.